probably my last credo box at this apartment wow this is such a moment welcome back to the channel i'm Britt, creator of the style shaker your guide to cleaner greener beauty skincare and more i try it out for you so you know what to buy more importantly what not to buy and today i'm back with something i haven't done in quite a while it is an unboxing and it features items from credo beauty and also my petty bore subscription box it was not my favorite <laughs> Maybe I'll give them another month. Stick around and let's get it. I took everything out of the box because that wrapping paper is really, really loud and noisy. And I just didn't want to do that to your little precious ears. Before I dive into all these goodies, if you're enjoying this channel and you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click that bell notification so you never miss another thing over here. A couple of small clicks go a really long way, so thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. Okay, let's get started. It's all around me. All around me. Oh, I don't even know where to start. You know, I'll just start with the big one. Everyone's talking about trying. Dunna, 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 da -da -da -da. <clears throat> yes, I got the Credo Beauty Exa Foundation. It's their high fidelity semi satin foundation charged with anti pollution actives. Well, that's a line if I've ever heard one. I got color or shade Oak Jew 360. Amplify your nature. That's what the box is telling me. The box is made from 100% post consumer waste. Tray made of compostable sugar cane, bottle made of recyclable glass, cap made from 100% recycled plastic, formulated. All right, first of all, <laughs> I love Credo. I do, and no one's paying me to say this. You guys know, this is not sponsored. I purchased all of this. I wanna take a second, put it out on the record, and say just that, it's on the flap, just that ease of access to this type of information for the consumer, amazing, amazing. This reminds me of when we first started getting Apple products, we would open the box and you're so used to all the wires and the this and the that, and they had elegant solutions back when they were kind of more innovative. Sorry, but it's true, not sorry. This is just something this small I'm telling you, it makes me so happy, it makes me, Love Credo even more. Buildable finish for all skin types, all ages, all people. Cruelty free, vegan. I mean, just the packaging alone. Can we just, I know, it's gonna be a long video if I keep going like this, but look, it's like in this little tiny, this looks like an egg carton in a cute way. And it has a little hole so you can push it out. Cause I was like, how am I gonna get, y'all. I think I need to be a packaging, sustainable packaging expert. I think that's my next gig. Try that for a year and then knowing me, I'll get really bored. I have to do something else. Or not. Beautiful, beautiful packaging here. And I think I'm in love with just the bottles. Just... There's nothing moving around in there. It's too full. Oh, okay. All right. What is happening? That's not right. That's not right. <laughs> That is not correct. That's correct. <laughs> You've got to love. I'm keeping that in there. I am so not editing that out. I was so excited about their packaging and then I pulled it out and I was like, oh no, oh no, that's going to be bad. But that's not what they meant for it to do. You just, what is it with me and bottles and lids right now? If you saw my get ready with me, you know what I'm referring to. All right, so let's. Sorry, ring in your face. <laughs> do this. Oh, yeah, you really do need to shake it a little bit. There she is. There she is. Let's see. I, you know, I don't know why on your arm is supposed to tell you what it's gonna look like on your face, but that's lovely. It's a little bit darker, but to know me is to know that I like a shade a little bit darker at first. That's actually a good point, if I may say so myself. You just really have to blend them out a little bit. And you can get a good sense that once it blends out, it dissipates a little bit, you know what I mean? Like this one just blended right into my arm. You can't even, can barely even tell. You like how I'm just showing you my arm? It's just gonna be an arm video. I can't even smell a thing. Oh God, that makes me happy. Oh boy. You know, after you feel so many foundations, you get kind of the sense of things. If you're looking for dew, this is not it. But if you're not looking for something dewy, because we all know like everything's dewy right now, can we get a dewy break? Sometimes you just want not shiny. You know what I mean? This is it. Yeah, this feels very, very lightweight. The color feels like a great match. There were so many shades. Yay! They're really stepping it up. They've gotten a ton of press on this, so whoever their PR person is, good job. You're doing a great job. Not like you need me to tell you that, but I am. I can't even, I, there's no way this is gonna transfer. Wow. Wow. Let's see if I like it as much on my face as I do on my arm. How do you follow that up? Like, who wants to go after that? 
pressure. The next. Mm, okay. Remember how I got 11 SPF and it was the moisturizer and everybody was like, serum's better, serum's better. And I was like, mm, is it? No, I wanna try. So now I'm gonna try. So I got the 11 serum. I feel like the timing is on point for this because the US Open is happening currently. My friend is actually working it. She's in the bubble. She's in the US Open bubble. I don't know if there's a cooler job right now than being in the bubble. US Open bubble. Okay, this is interesting. This is an interesting little contraption. So it comes with a dropper. Press, I assume. Yep, 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 yep. Liquidy, because it's a serum. Oh. Whoa, I just put it directly on my nose. Ooh, it almost feels like a lightweight, silky primer. Has a, oh my gosh. What does that remind me of? You know when scents remind you of things? I mean, I know what it reminds me of. It reminds me of just bear with me here. Our family car, growing up, whenever you would turn on the heat, it smelled like maple syrup. When it first came out of the vents, like a weird maple syrup, almost like a spruce or evergreen. It sort of had like that kind of a flavor to it. And I would call it German maple syrup. Why German? Listen, I don't know, but you can ask anybody in my immediate family and they will tell you, oh yeah, German maple syrup. It's like a thing in our family. This smells very similar to that. It's almost, I wonder what it is. I wonder what it is. I wanna know, I wanna know. Prickly pear, huh. I would not have guessed that, but now that I know it, I can kind of, yeah, there's something to it. I don't know, it smells like the car. It smells like the car. We'll see if it dissipates. I'm not sure I love the scent, but I love the texture and SPF 35, sheer, talk about no white residue. That's impressive and I feel like it would be easy to reapply as well. Really easy to reapply and not in spray form so you're definitely getting it where you wanna get it. Oh, Venus Williams. How much do I love the Williams sisters? Let me count the ways. You guys have no clue what happens at my house when Wimbledon's going, and US Open is going, and I have to do this, you know, adventure in my life right now, so I can't really focus on that. But oof, me and my mom are really into tennis, I'm just saying. Now you know. That was a great story. No, it was so detailed. Uh, the next, this is a full size. Great that I bought this right before I have to take a road trip. Innersense Hydrating Cream Conditioner. Now I've tried a few Innersense products. Some people, Love them. I've found them to be very hit and miss for my hair, my life, my noggin. This I actually ended up loving. So I had a sample of this conditioner. It is so dense, it is so creamy and rich. I would just put it on the ends and let me tell you, mama, like the rest of us, hasn't been to get a haircut in a while, which is why I'm starting to look like Rapunzel vibes. My ends needed some help and I was about to just chop them off, but I thought, uh, oh, I'll use this sample. Loved it. And I, you guys know I rarely talk about hair stuff here. I rarely find hair products that I enjoy that aren't still kind of conventional and have toxic chemicals in them. So this is one, and my hair was very thirsty and this quenched its thirst to a certain degree. It's not a miracle worker, but it's really very good. The next is a Tool, AKA Tool. I just don't know where I was. I think I'm getting back into sponges. I am, I'm, I don't think, I just, I am getting back into sponges. They're from Jenny. Patinkin, non-toxic, earth-friendly, antibacterial, vegan, latex-free, wash after each use or more realistically as often as you can. It's just a brand I really like and these are these little cute little marshmallow things. I have a little baby one. It's got a mama and a baby. It's got a mama and a baby. Oh, I'm excited to try these. They also feel very velvety. Mm, this feels different than your regular old beauty blender. Oh. Next, we have the Han Serum CC. I like Han a lot. I like you, Han. Hey, Han. 30 SPF broad spectrum shake well before the use. It's your serum, your foundation, your primer, your SPF, your color corrector, your moisturizer, all in one. I usually really don't like when products try to be that because I feel like you're just setting yourself up for failure. It's a big claim and very few products can follow through on all those claims. Or maybe I just don't test them long enough to. Oh. So I was really excited about this because I love their price points and the performance is there too. It's not just a great price point, it's great performance from their products. Happen to really like their concealer. Oh God, oh God, oh no. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Nice, right? Actually, not that liquidy. What shade did I get? I got shade two. Oh. Well, it's also going on top of the 11. Oh, wow. Super lightweight. I like the way it smells. Some of you might not like this. It's very 
Ugh, now it's smelling with the 11. I'm gonna have to get used to that 11. This reminds me of something too. It's like my scent memories have left me. A little bit of orange. Lavender. Hello, one of my favorite all-time scents. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, I have a good feeling about this one too. And it's so lightweight in the USA. Natural, cruelty-free, vegan. Let's hope this is another Han winner. Wow. <laughs> I'm really hitting it out of the park with this one. Huh. Okay, great. Okay, great. Next is from Kinship. Everybody was, well, not everybody. Maybe five people asked me if I've tried this. Let's be real. <laughs> it's like two people and one of them's your mom. Kinship self-reflect reef safe sound. Reef safe and sound. That's a plus sign. I can read. Probiotic moisturizing zinc oxide sunscreen. SPF 32. Cruelty free vegan. Dermatologist tested. What dermatologist? Can we talk to the dermatologist? It has turmeric and lactobacillus ferment, the probiotic. Okay. So yeah, it's all about that probiotic, huh? It's cute, it's very like millennial Gen Z packaging. It's appealing to the, the demo. It's got a nice amount of zinc in there, 22.4%. Unfortunately, phenoxyethanol is in this one. It's a preservative. I would rather not have things mold, so again, don't think I'm villainizing it, but again, I have that whole video out there for it. Okay, so let's see, do I have to shake this? Yes, I think it said shake well. Did I make that up? Where am I? What's happening? I made it up, just squirt it on, shall we? That's nice, thicker. Oh, it's got a little tint to it. Did I know that? I guess I knew that. Did I know that? 25 bucks too, it's a great price point. Let's see, what are you going to do? Going on this one hand. Really nice scent. I'm more into the kind of a scent. It's a sweeter scent. Ooh, it's beautiful. Gives a nice glow. Mm. Mm. Moisturizing. You can feel it moisturizing. You will probably feel this one more than you will the CC cream or the 11. And applies nicely too. Also, I just was talking for two seconds and now I don't really feel much of anything. Very smooth surface though, but that's because I have like 18 layers of product. Curious about those probiotics. Again, not a cosmetic chemist. I'll leave that to the experts. Although I will call them out if any of this is total BS. <laughs> anyway, and these are gifties. So I have the Kinship Super Mellow Hydrating Gel Cream. This guy right here, little, little doodah. Made from ocean waste plastic. Ooh, yes. Let's do it on this hand. Yeah, you can barely see it. So lightweight, no smell whatsoever, barely a smell. And then I have the One Love Organic Skin Dew Coconut Water Cream, another cream. I'm really just, I'm liking face creams right now. Ooh, it smells like coconut cream. Ooh, got some really good reviews as well. And these are lighter weight creams. I'm just really into face creams right now. Face oils, face creams. My, my skin is just drinking all of it up and it really is also, also, also. I'm taking like five extra minutes, let's just put it that way, to prep the skin when I can before applying makeup in the morning. And it makes such a difference with all the other products that I'm using. Highly recommend it. And when I say prep, I mean gua sha, I mean oil, very little oil, and then a nice light layer of moisturization, just a face massage. It really, I'm really loving it, especially right now if I'm really stressed. Just taking a few extra minutes in the morning makes a huge difference for me. Last but not least, we have two lip products, one of which you've seen influencers talk about all over the place, so I wasn't gonna do it because I, I kind of find that to be really frustrating when everybody just talks about the same thing, but I'm doing it with the foundation, so hey. If you can't beat them, join them. I'm not trying to beat anybody though, so. I'll just join them. This is the Ilia Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Oil. The sun is setting, by the way, so it's getting a little dark. Just FYI, it's not you, it's me. Linger! I already have color on my lips now. I will show you a before and after with this beautiful gloss. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. no scent, yes. <gasps> Ooh, oh, that's nice. You know what, this could be a really nice blush too. I love a doe foot applicator. I love a richer dusty rose, which is what I think I'm getting here. I think this is gonna be a great everyday color. I will test it out for the full eight hours to see how it wears and let you know. And the last little special, this was a good, good, good order. In Beauty We Trust, In Beauty Project. Glaze number two, lip oil. I feel like this is something Anybody who grew up in the 90s that you would find in the Delia's catalog, you know what I mean. It'll be right next to those little butterfly clips. Come on. 
Memories. Oh, Ooh, I kind of like how, whoa, did you see that? What is happening here? That is a giant doe foot. That's like the mamma jamma of doe foots. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm, oh my God. This is definitely for that, I think. I don't want to assign an age. I'm gonna get so much crap for it. I was right about the Delia's reference, except bring it into 2020. Do have on the Saint lip gloss over the cheeky lip. Oh my God. I actually really like the size of this doe foot. Actually really like the size of this doe foot applicator. Wow. Why don't they all do that? The problem here is that if you have a sugar craving, you're gonna to want to eat it. See the gloss? It appealed to something in me. Um, I feel like kind of a little kid, but I love that. So there's something about this that's very nostalgic and the scent is very strong if you get headaches off the fruity scents. I kind of, I do kind of want to eat it. It's like a ring pop. It's bringing me back, right? Ring pops, nostalgic, delias, butterfly clips. Ugh, what a fun one. That's why I got it, because it was fun and it wasn't too crazy expensive either. It was 15. I kind of get a lot in there. Plus I was very curious about this brand. So plant-based plumping complex. Cool. I guarantee you that stuff I used in the 90s did not use plant-based um, ingredients. All right, now we're gonna do a quick pedivore run through of their, oh no, where am I? What month is it? August. I am late to the gate. Maybe it was July. Oh my God, it's July, it's their July box. Oh my God, I'm so late. I'm sorry, Penny Four. So here's what we have. We have a hemp CBD collagen facial sheet mask with CBD collagen biopeptides, amino acids. I'm not a big mask person. I will probably end up gifting this to my mom. Okay, next we have the Blissoma Blissoma, Blissoma, whatever. Photonic facial sunscreen and moisturizer, 1750. Yay, spreads on like a dream, leaves a flawless finish. I have all the SPF, man. I got all the, you want SPF? I've got it, I've got it. Smells nice, barely any smell to it. White cast went bye-bye. This is nice. I think I could get into this. I really, really do. We're not done yet. We have two more. Nude by Nature. Kind of makes me want to say naughty by nature. OPP. Natural Illusion Eyeshadow. Okay, this is shade two. Looks like a brown. That's looking and reading much lighter than it is IRL. This is a deep, dark, like, mm, you can't tell with the light. Really nice, dark brown. Plus, this could double as an eyeshadow. Uh, of course, it could be an eyeshadow. It is an eyeshadow. Eyeliner, liner, oh, yes, word. And then the last is Le Femme Body Oil, a nourishing and quick absorbing body oil with mineral powder. This is like milky looking. This looks, let's smell it basically. I just want to smell it. Ooh, rose. I'm scared. Very strong rose, almost like a geranium. Not a big rose person myself. Oh, it has shimmer. That's what that is. This is going to Judy. Judy, my mom. And that's it, that's the Petty Bore box. So now you've watched the Credo unboxing, the Petty Bore unboxing, and you're just up to date on all the stuff that I'm gonna be testing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you did, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, click that bell icon, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, I'm gonna go put all this stuff away, and I will be right back here real soon with some more videos. Until then, bye.